This is Hydrogen Tap. What we're doing here is looking at a test that I'm going to perform to demonstrate the Meyer principle. You can see the capacitor on the top and on the bottom is a diode. The diode allows current to go in one direction. If you replace the capacitor with stainless steel plates, two plates, that's essentially what we have here. According to Myers, the stainless steel become the capacitor. The capacitor has an insulator in between it, and that is the water in this case. So we want the water not to conduct electricity. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to pulse that 12 volt battery you see there through to the capacitor. And every time it gets pulsed, the capacitor is going to store more voltage. And if it works out correctly, you're going to see the voltage go well over 12 volts. This is the most basic principle of the Meyer system. So you can see the switch on the bottom left. I'm going to manually pulse it. And if you look right now at the voltmeter, the, the meter is across the capacitor. It's reading 0.10 volts, which for practical purposes is nothing. I could short out the capacitor and that would go to zero. I'm going to start pulsing and you watch. We're at 1.09 and you can see it going up. 6 volts, 7 volts, 8 volts, 9 volts, 10 volts, 11, 12, 13. We're right now going over the voltage of the battery. Battery is only 12 volts. 16, 17, 18, 19. And now we've gone over what the battery is set for. It's only set for 20 volts, so we have to turn it up higher. And as you can see, we're reading the capacitor. The charge in the capacitor now is over. Well, right now we're at 27 volts. The battery that's going to it is only 12 volts. What Myers has done, or what we're going to do here, is we're going to replace the capacitor with two plates, in this case two plates. You can have more. So what eventually will happen is we'll have so much voltage in the capacitor or in the plates that we'll get a discharge from one plate to the other, in other words a short circuit. Once that happens, it goes through the water and will create hydrogen. You can see there's over 20 volts in there now. So by pulsing the system, every time the plates start accumulating voltage, they're going to reach a critical mass in which they short out. There's a, there's a look at one of the diodes. Again, the diode allows the current to only go in one direction. That way it doesn't go back to the battery. So what happens is you have a critical mass. You get a breakdown in the capacitor. In this case, it would be in the two plates. And they shoot across from one plate to the other. So we'd have low voltage going in. And eventually, we'd have a tremendous voltage, which short circuits through the water, creating hydrogen and oxygen. And then more water rushes in to take its place. So every time this happens, it starts all over again. This is what I'm doing in my lab. This is what's going to be essentially, this is a token effort here to show you how it works. But as you can see, in theory, it seems to work very well. The next step is to make this a little bit larger. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what that control panel was that I've been showing you. And that's what the plate system is going to be working for. You can see now I'm pulsing it again. We're over 36 volts. 
that pulsar is nothing more than opening and closing the circuit from the battery to that transformer on the top. Again, the battery is only 12 volt battery, and you can see measuring across the capacitor is 23 volts. Again, in theory, what's going on here, and what Myers probably was working with, is that eventually the plates acting as a capacitor go to such, get so much voltage on them that eventually the water breaks down and you get a dump of amperage through it, or in this case, voltage goes through the water, you create hydrogen. I can just see some people right now getting ready to email me to tell me to prove them to them that there was only 12 volt battery behind there. Forget it, I'm not going to do that. Those of you who are really interested can email me, and I'll be glad to write down all the parts that I've used. Actually, on the website, hydrogentap.com, I'll have this as well. That's hydrogentap.com. You can see a glimpse of the pulse system I'm getting ready to put together now.